Maybe, maybe Bob had a reaction about, about the, that wasn't how the, point. how that the. That was not his point. His point was, spend a week looking at porn, spend a week looking at reading good literature, see, you will be a different person. That yeah, and one of them on a box empty Kleenex is a bit exhausted. <laughs> no, no, no. He's giving you, he's giving you an example of, yeah. One thing that is obviously harmful to the internal person that's that not uh, harmful. Who's judging literature? Do it. Depending on the literature, what, what if you read my mind? Who's doing that? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Who thinks that people don't become addicted by dwelling on things? Who thinks that? Are we not habitual beings? Who thinks that people don't become addicted to porn, to lust, by dwelling on them, by spending too much time with them? But is there an addiction that hurts like? A saint like Mother Teresa does that cause Mother Teresa is a in the world? Teresa. Mother Teresa admitted she didn't believe in God. Believe in God. So you believe you God. want to pick a particular person and you, attack you the person? Brought up. You brought it up. You brought it up. Most you brought it up. Christians are reading the fictional Bible, and we see the religious wars that that's got us. Well, so, I got a question. What's in the Bible? Oh, I got oh, it. Is it about fighting wars? No. no. There is porn in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the Old Testament has some pretty disgusting questions. <laughs> Hang on. Did you have a question with regards to this? I mean, are we arguing about if porn's good or bad now? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. If we want to have a discussion about whether or not porn's bad, that's fine, but I don't know that that is a productive discussion for here, because it, I would be... Do, it has to do with, if you have something internally that can burn and be destructive, or something internally that can be life-giving, something like hate that can cause you to to just dis become destroyed internally, but I, you... Prove that exists first before causing your own I, I don't understand what you mean by destroyed internally. I mean that people will become sick because of their own internal passions without yeah. even going out and touching or interacting sick? with Sick? What do you mean sick? Do you have any evidence for this? And I asked you a question about what you saw these in the I, I tell you what, you can ask me one question and then leave. Oh, because you're the authority? In this I room, you bet your ass. Because you have enough evidence to realize there's more than just the material, that there is something that spiritually works or doesn't work inside of you. So you can see it. You will see it years from now if you study your life looking at four people. And, 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 I, and I want to hang on. I, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I'm only asking you to leave. I'm, I want to be clear. I'm only asking you to go because it's clear that you came in with an agenda. Yes. and wanted to prompt a discussion, that this wasn't necessarily about. And you are have nothing more than an assertion that people in the room don't agree with. And rather than discussing, ra rather, rather than making the case, the assertion of bye. The bye. <laughs> Morality. And my question was, for human morality, 
it differs between societies and different societies. And we're all, I believe we're, we're all humans on this planet. And there has to be a way that is for all humans to agree on what is morally correct. Because in order to coexist with everyone, then we all have to agree on a set of morals that exist. Now, from society to society, everyone's gonna say, this is my view, this is my view, this is my view. How do we know, as humans on the planet Earth, all being the same race and everything, how do we know what the correct moral code is? And also, my other thing, my question to him, but I didn't want to ask it, is his viewpoint was that God was the source of human morality. I didn't know if he meant his God or just believing in a God was the source of human morality. So that's what I'm going to ask you tomorrow when I go. Um, but, you know, that's I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily want to do all the talking. I have an answer to this. Be good for goodness sake. Yeah. That's why people should be good. Yes, do not be good for God because God doesn't need the help. God doesn't exist in the first place. It's like, you know, people say, well, I'm going to go to Africa to save the children for Jesus. No, you don't go to Africa to save the children for Jesus. You go to Africa to save the children for the children. Yeah, I agree with that, too. And so what's the point of all this nonsense about there being a God that we have to do? Well, I've talked to many atheists before, and I'm not claiming all atheists like this because I know a lot of atheists who don't. You know, people are different. But from what I've observed, most people that are... In, that I've talked to that say this, where they're like, well, it's their problem, you know, I'm this way, they're that way, they have to suffer, you know? Uh, you didn't categorize who you're talking about. I had no idea what kind of person you're talking about. Right now. The, I've talked to atheists who, I don't believe that, I believe that people can be good when people can be good. Except so my question is, you know, here growing up, being good, for example, is looking like beautiful, being outspoken, being this, being that, and having a good house, that's the definition of like success in America. You know, having the American dream, having a nice car, having a stable family, having a nice financial, you know, stability and everything. And they don't really think about everyone. They don't think globally. That's true. And this is a Christian nation. They're highly Christian nation. Most people are Christian. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying, what I'm asking is, for from an atheist point of view, my friends, I have lots of atheist friends. They're like, well, you know, those kids in Africa, that's their problem. Like. Who, how, why am I supposed to help them? And I, 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 what kind of where are you finding yeah. people? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not I'm not categorizing for like all atheists, but I'm, I did observe that because they're like you know we're gonna die and we're just not gonna exist. Yet. What's the point of living to be? But I've also realized that lots of Christians say that also because they believe that salvation is just believing in Jesus. Whereas in my religion, you have to do good deeds and bad deeds, and when you do a bad deed, it's recorded. When you do a good deed, it's recorded. So you're not doing the good or bad deeds because, for God's sake, you're doing the good or bad deeds for your own sake. No, that's so, self aggrandizement. So that's from within. This is, a pro this is a problem with any religion that, that gives you a reward. You're not doing it for, 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 for the people you're doing it for. You're not doing it even for God. You're doing it for yourself to save yourself. That's a very base reason to do things. So that's a basic fundamental flaw of religions that say, God's going to reward you for doing good deeds. The only reason to do good deeds altruistically is just to do them. For example, let's say that you have a kid in the middle of a stream about to drown. And one side's an atheist and one side's a Christian or a Muslim or whatever. They're both at high risk of drowning if they get into this, this running water. If the Christian jumps in, that's a good thing to try to save that kid. But they're kind of hoping for a reward. The atheist is the only one who potentially can be totally altruistic. It's like, oh, I could risk dying. That would be the end of my existence. So morally, atheism in that sense is superior. There's an example that I've used over and over again. Imagine that you have two children and they misbehave in public. Yeah. And you talk to them and you try to explain to them the, the, the consequences of their actions and how they affect other people. And for whatever reason, one of them continues to misbehave. After a year's time, you go out in public again and no, neither child is misbehaving. One of them is doing it because you promised a reward or promise to beat them if they don't behave. And the other one is doing it because he actually grasps the consequences of his actions with regard to the people around him and what sort of society he wants to live in. Which of those kids is better? Well, I, I agree with that, actually. I do believe that. That, answers, that, it's, though, it's that will answer your other question, which is how do we get to a point where we all agree on this stuff? And <coughs> as, as offensive as this may be to people, we have to eliminate the religious mindset 
not, not religions, I'm not talking about grabbing no, people I, away. I, I, we have to change people's minds so that they eliminate the presuppositions that a God is required, that there is something uh, grander or reward-inducing, the carrot and stick thing, and we need people to understand goodness for goodness sake. We need to understand that the proof is in the pudding. The, the results of our actions are what we use to measure our, our lives by. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take on to that. What's your, what's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have two sort of points of view, places to come from to answer these kind of questions. One is that as a fellow human being, struggling, trying to be good, trying to live life while we can. The other is as a scientist, professor, thinker, and so forth. And my, I have some students in the room here who will recognize my point of view here. Uh, life is hard. Life is complex. And the older I get, the more complex it seems. And the more educated I get, the more I realize how little I know. Mm -hmm. And there is an incredible amount of uncertainty in the world. And I can no longer pretend that I don't have that. So whatever the answers are, I think we all have to find them on our own. And one of the things that will help, I don't know what the answer is, but one of the things that will help is to um, avoid subscription to institutions that tell you to stop thinking. I, I agree. I actually completely agree that when, you know, like I have a very creative mind and I believe we live in such a world of statistics and facts and everything. And I don't like when, you know, when my creativity is viewed as very like ADD, for example. Because I don't have ADD, but I'm just very creative. I like to think outside the box. But good for you. But whereas like a lot of my friends or something are very like book smart and they go by the books and stuff, and I don't really do that. I'm viewed as different. Whereas I'm like, you're not smarter than me in any aspect. Like who are you to define what smart is? And I believe that. I do believe that lots of institutions do define what smart is, and I, you know, I do think that's a problem because people are thinking very restricted. I do believe that we need to take a grasp on what creativity is and like value that more often. But okay, I'm really sorry. This is like me and you guys. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Please. It's a good discussion. Go ahead. Well, sorry. I actually was mine was related to yours. No, no offense to you guys, but I think you kind of didn't catch what she was trying to say, really. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I think you're trying to say is that um, when we're trying to figure out what is moral, like what is this universal moral code, um, culturally that can be different, regardless of religion. Um, we're like, for instance, we're a very individualistic society, and uh, we, by the way, I'm an atheist, just coming out there now. Um, we're an individualistic society, and what we do that we perceive as moral may not be moral to someone who's non-religious in Japan in a community based <coughs> society. So the question was, I think she was trying to ask you, was that like how do we derive like the ultimate like what is good for goodness sake and yeah. does that vary?